And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tarek Braum. Uh, we're going to have another donation deck for another Freljord and Targon deck with Tarek and with buffing up everything. Instead of Trundle, like yesterday, we're going to be going with Braum today. Uh, Braum's pretty awesome whenever you get to buff up Braum because um, it has a challenger. And the challenger is really, really important against Bastion these days. So, so that's something that Braum has that's very important. Um, and then, you know, you, you buff up the power, you get to challenge stuff, hopefully have it uh, survive, start creating Mighty Poros with the Overwhelm. Those are also very good to buff with having the Overwhelm. Uh, so that's kind of our, our uh, that's the point of our deck. And so to be able to buff up the power of Braum, we have the gems. So we have like Mentor the Stones and Mountain Goat that can create some gems in hand. And those will just uh, give Braum some power. Uh, so that's going to be pretty necessary. And then, of course, we have Tarek that can support Braum. Um, and uh, we can cast, you know, like a Blessing of Targon on the Tarek and then support it on over to the Braum. Overwhelm is going to be a big part of our deck. We're going to have Zenith Blade be able to give Overwhelm. Um, the Mighty Poros that Braum creates has Overwhelm. We have a couple Ruthless Raiders in here that have the Overwhelm. And then Arbiter of the Peak. If we're supporting and targeting our allies a bunch, we can play these for very cheap maybe unload a couple Arbor of the Peak in one turn and overwhelm our opponent. We also have some Invoke, so we can play a longer game with Star Shaping and Solari Priestess. Starlet Seer is in here <clears throat> as another way to buff up all of our units that, that are going to be on top, and then, of course, plenty of combat tricks to go along with it. So that's our deck. We're going to try it out. Uh, we've been struggling a little bit with Taric decks recently. We've been finding that uh, all sorts of people are playing Hush, and that's been that's been the problem is we'll have like some really cool buffed up units, and then our opponents play hush, and then we're sad. Hopefully that won't happen too much today. Hopefully we can dodge hush. That's our goal. All right, we're gonna mulligan Arbor of the Peak, mulligan this. Honestly, maybe even mulligan Zenith Blade. Yeah, let's just mulligan all three of those. I look for some more threats. <clears throat> this kind of matchup, I'd like to start with Starlet Seer on turn two if we could find that. This land is but we got our Ruthless Raider. The Winter's Claw. It's a good attacker. I decided to go Ruthless Raider over Avaros and Sentry because of like the Overwhelm and because of its usefulness being buffed. I'm going to take the warrior Bask in her with the challenger. Blessing. All right, going to go straight to attacks. Could play Tarek first and support, but if I play Tarek and they play Trundle, then I just can't attack anymore. So we're going to attack first before Trundle can come down. Yeah, that is some awesome ramp right there. I'm ready to shine. That is some awesome ramp. So round five, they have eight mana <laughs> on round five. These are That's pretty fair. Um, unfortunately, no real pump spell for us. With our two mana things being Guiding Touch and Troll Chant. As far as like buffing up the warrior to take down Trundle. The trolls are going to war. Ready when you are. Always ready. Hmm. Right, so we're gonna draw a card. There we go. Pale Cascade. That's a good one. To protect all, the winter's mortal. Witness glory. Never can attack with this. Solari Priestess, if they want to block the Priestess with the 4 3, yeah, that's fine with me. There you are. That's 
It's been the story right there. Oh, let's play these Tarek decks. It's just been hush. Sketcher works out perfectly there, also being able to discard the hush that was gonna go away. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. So I can hush their trundle right now so it doesn't regen at end of turn. Unclear if that's really worth it. It's basically like that or pass turn. About to, about to be able to play a really soul. Lost in reflection. And they still have six mana. I make shepherding look easy. Stand back. Well, here was really good. All those ramp spells, and then also Trundle and Hush. Does make it where they don't really want to attack with this trundle. You can maybe have Troll Chant help protect the warrior. Maybe. <laughs> yep. Still had a really soul. Said the Targonian. So I spend all my mana and keep the really soul from leveling up. They still just kill my warrior. Yeah, I mean, this game's over. That was a perfect hand for them. Failure is my greatest mentor. All right, another Targon deck. Hopefully they don't have Hush this time. We're going to Mulligan. I like seeing that, because gift givers aren't going to kill me. I hope they have just like three gift givers in hand. They could have had Pale Cascade themselves. And traded, but then they would not have drawn a card off the Bell Cascade. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Um. Bask in her radiant blessing. Your shower does get bastion. Back heretic. Which could be a reason to take the warrior. It's just the warrior is pretty slow. Like it's, we have the attack token on the even turns, and so we wouldn't be able to, you know, even attack for another two turns with that thing. So they don't bash it. If they do, at least we get a plus one plus one with the Starlet Seer with this card. Maybe this is too greedy. Maybe I should just be playing Tarek, where Tarek can can block. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Uh, they did have Bastion. And also Mention the Stones. So that didn't work. Sapphire, gem of our divine faith. An auspicious season. Best not ruffle our feathers. Alright, hopefully this works. All right, we got we got Zed taken care of. So six mana. Oh, 
probably going to be going... If we had seven, we'd go Braum and Mentor the Stones. We'll go Braum. And Starlet's here. So I could kill their Mentor the Stones, but that does give them all those gems. Which are good for Lee Sin. There's not like a better option, right? So my options are either not kill Mentor the Stones or kill Mentor the Stones. Um, I guess I go not kill Mentor the Stones. I won't give them those gems, so if they want to play spells, they don't get the gems. Because I do have Hush, they can stop the pump from Mentor the Stones. I'll see this through. They're only at four. Center your spirit. Alright, they're playing their gems. We're going to play our Mentor of the Stones. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. Alright, hoping this works. No bounce spell or anything like that. Deny. I will not hold back. It did not work. As the dragon will. It's too bad. They'll kill Tarek. Never submit. I'd rather have Tarek die than Braum die, I think. Be brave. Looking into the future, I see purple. I should play Star Wars here. So let's see. Next turn we'll have 9, 10, 11, 12 mana. Which is exactly enough to play Hush three times. I would not hold back. So if I don't play Starless here, here, I can play Hush three times. Conflict is all in the mind. Prepare yourself. Help is on the way. Oh, it's still doing the dragon? Right. Uh, well, that was dumb. Play that Blessing and Targon, that was dumb. Sometimes <laughs> the that's where where I have the camera is kind of just in the middle of the screen, so I didn't see the the dragon's rage ability. That does hurt sometimes. So when we go star shaping, we're only going to be getting things that cost more. Nope, those didn't help. Who goes there? Uh. 
I guess Bastion? Bastion could help. Conflict is all Stop in the, the dragon kick. Down to one right there. Blessed by snow and stars. I will not hold back. This would be a good winter. This land is ours. Get another attack somehow. Two attacks with a 9-8. I'll see this through. Leave nothing standing. Have you met my shield? I will not hold back. That was not the blocks I was expecting. Those are not the blocks I was expecting. These two regions just can't remove a, a Lee Sin. And I think that's a big problem right now. Lee Sin's just so popular. Uh, and like Lee Sin plus Hush is so popular and this, these two regions don't deal with Lee Sin Hush. I mean, it, 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 you, can play, you can play like a whole bunch of Frostbite, like that's what you have to do. You have to play like Frostbites, Challengers, that kind of stuff. Um, we don't... We're not, you know, we, can, we can't really play that. It's hard to play all that stuff and also play Taric and play support. And everything like that. I don't know exactly why... I don't really know why they're why they were challenging the Great Beyond. They challenge one of these other things, the game's over. Our enemies cannot hide. Yeah, we almost survived this. Went to negative one. <laughs> yeah, like we're going down to exact lethal. They could have survived you know, they could have done that to one of the other things and it was a really easy win. Next time we will do better. So good news, our opponents will not have hush. Great news, no hush. I'm gonna keep a pale cascade. Even though we need to find threats, pale cascade's really a really good quality card if we do find threats. Freljord Targon win rate is not good. Not too good. So this is tough work. I'm going to be taking one of these two. Like, the Obliterate is awesome against them because they have just, like, a few threats that you really got to get rid of. But I kind of like getting the Traveler... Yeah, we're gonna take with having with having all these spells in hand. I'm gonna take the traveler. Yeah, troll chant hasn't really helped us. Troll chant's really good at protecting your stuff, but like Brom, Brom needs power, and troll chant does not give Brom power. Enforced equilibrium. Nature blesses her followers. 
would be a good winter. Really hope we can take out Shen. Alright, that's pretty big. The Kinku. Okay, okay. Um, I can't play you and anything else yet, Tarek, so I'm just gonna play this. Supernova would be the best, but we may not be hold another Celestial card. I am more myself than ever. I'm gonna take another Traveler. I walk the space between. Ooh, that's not good. Another Shen, that's it not good. Sunblast Vigor doesn't give doesn't give Braum any power either. Nature blesses her followers. Let's not ruffle our feathers. Blessed by snow and stars. Yeah, it's gonna go with the hush. Their best card is Repost. It is Prismatic not Barrier. I don't see that too often. All right, we'll take that. Nature blesses her followers. No Repost. It doesn't kill my Starlets here. I'm gonna hold on to the two spell mana instead of playing the mounts and goats. River shape the land and give it life. I'd rather have that spell mana. Mortal turned legend. Yeah, that was a really great turn for us. Getting another Shen out of here. Never submit. Dang, this is going to be a big Arbiter of the Peak. With the Starless here. Going crazy. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's nice not playing against Hush. That we're, we're the deck with Hush. Hush was really important for us. This is rather dull. The opponent didn't have Hush. So we'll be able to draw two spells with River Shaper striking twice. What form will the waters take? Alright, so they got an extra two spells. GG's. Good to be the person with the hush. So as long as if we don't get paired up against hush, I think that we have a really good chance of winning. So I, like I don't think our deck's bad. There's just one card in the format that completely wrecks us, and it's difficult, and therefore it's difficult to beat that card. Uh, keep the two drop, three drop. So unfortunately, this is probably a hush deck again. Um, but. You know, maybe we can fight through it. Or maybe they won't have it. No, I don't think we necessarily need to take out Star Shaping for hard removal. There's just isn't there isn't good hard removal cards. Like the the best one is is Sunburst. That's the best one. And Sunburst um, does you know it does get countered by Bastion and it with the and it's also very slow. You know that it's slow speed and expensive. There's a lot of a lot of Bastion running around. Also, all these hush decks, they're all, everybody's playing three Bastions. Yeah, not a great answer. Frostbite is like probably the better removal for us. It being first speed. Draw a champion? No, I just want, we'll just take this Traveler. Here. 
Thought about casting the gem on the one two. I'm glad we didn't. Get the Starlet Seer on play first before we start playing spells. Find your own light within the darkness. Your light is alive. Blessed by snow and stars. This is a great troll chant. Light. Opportunity. Face your heritage. And yeah, I want to turn this priestess into being a 2-2. Two -two. An auspicious season. So that it, it would kill the Diana. They also grabbed a Traveler. So we've played two spells with Starlet Seer. Our next unit will have plus two, plus two. Let my stars guide all travelers onward. And I guess we're just playing the warrior. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the solar will you behold the, the divine power of the sun. Yeah, some champions could be nice. Especially champions with the plus two, plus two. Sunlight lines. Look to the sky. Young Atreus, was it? I have so much more than any human. Hmm. Definitely feel like Pale Cascade an option there. Let's just pass. Maybe trying to burn us out. Had I known there would be one such as you, I would have gladly shown a light. Probably gonna play another Daybreak card and stun my warrior. I hope not, but probably will. Our sun will not yep. set today. The sun's splendor reveals. They play another Daybreak card here and stun. That means they're not playing another Daybreak card the next turn. So the problem with this attack is Pale Cascade. They have their Robin block my 4-6 and go Pale Cascade. It's kind of the problem with this attack. We're just going to end round. Because, like, that's a problem. And, uh, you know, Hush is also a problem. Gonna end around. I like that we got this thing being a 5 8. This is rather dull. So I think I, I may need to just hush Leona right now before they start stunning all my blockers. I guess I could, I could just hush Robin now. So then it's not daybreak anymore. I wouldn't get any daybreak bonuses. They already played something. Blessed by snow and stars. Fate has delivered me to you once again. Our destinies are entwined. Unseen, unheard. Find your path in the dark and follow no false light. Back. I will be heard. And I definitely think that they have Pale Cascades. So I I, I played my slow speed. I played the Zenith Blade because it's slow, slow speed before. Because I wouldn't want to do that before attacking again. The mountain endures. We consider. 
be a good winter. Gonna be tough. Not really, <laughs> not really seeing a situation where we win this, but who knows? Need your light. It could happen. Okay, they didn't do anything there. No hushes or anything like that there. Um, well, that's probably why. I need to draw. Another hush? I think we've only had one so far, right? Nope. Failure is my greatest mentor. I've got got enough healing. Yeah, we didn't have exactly. Yeah, we didn't have any champions until super late there with the Taric. That's gonna be a big, big part. I don't think our deck needs more healing though. You can see shuffling away the Brom. Okay, we got another Brom. With it just being the O5 and try to try to draw a, a bigger, like a Brom that uh, has some power. Definitely like having two Starless Ears. I like seeing that. This would be a good winter. Oh, don't kill Starlet's here. That plus one plus one's really clutch here, besides just the, the spell shield, so they can't just go mystic shot. Okay, yeah, or steel tempest, something like that, that removes the spell shield. And now it takes three damage, but still stays alive, because that plus one plus one. Have thermogenic beam. If I play Starlet Seer, they could have thermogenic beam to kill my other Starlet Seer. I don't want that to happen. We see through all. No. Nope. Oh, auspicious season. Now we got two Starlet Seers going. Even better than one. Or die. Let's go. Nope. Blessed by snow and stars. This is working out. This is working out. And <laughs> down to five. And we're gonna have something that's buffed up plus four plus four. Oh, a Brom, a four nine regenerate Brom. Don't blink, or you miss me. Oh, that's gonna be tough to deal with for sure. Let's see. So there. All right. So their thing's gonna kill. We'll let them get. They'll have Mystic Shot that kills Mountain Goat. This would be a good winter. Is it the Who knows? I'd rather them kill Mountain Goat. They and kill Starless here. And so that's why I use the gem on the Starless here. Wow, it's pretty greedy. They're just hoping the static shot can take out both of these now. Yeah, I mean they're dead. GG's. So there we go. Just play against a, a damage-based deck. Have your Starless Ears, have your 
guiding touches. This went perfectly. Blessed by snow and stars. This would be a good winter. That went perfectly. Level up Ezreal. GG's. So we went 2 and 0 against non Targon decks, and we went 0 and 3 against Targon decks. Probably not, probably not too much of a coincidence there. Um, so yeah, just try to get, try to not get paired against Targon. And then you're probably going to have a pretty good time. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of good stuff to like with this deck. But other Targon decks are, are going to be pretty difficult to beat. I'm not sure about the Arbiter of the Peaks. Maybe those should just be something else. But... Uh, no, I wouldn't say that Tarek is, is unplayable. But it's really... It, Hush does shut down Tarek a ton, and we'll see. I guess they're going to be changing Hush to be a two-mana spell, just like um, just like the other card, the other Silence card right now, Purify. Just like Purify, it's going to be just a two-mana one-of card and not like a two-of, where if you have like Tarek's with something else that you're supporting and you have two big things, they can't have one Hush that takes out both of them. Um, yeah, Mention the Stones looked pretty bad again. Yeah, Mention of the Stones is just not... It's just not doing enough. Solari Priestess looked good, though. Invoking Celestial Cards. That looked good. I liked the Solari Priestess. Um, you yeah, know, we never had, like... We never had, like, Ruthless Raider into Mentor the Stones attack and pump up Ruthless Raider. Never did that. Never had Mentor the Stones into Braum and attack and pump up Braum. That never happened. We never had Mention of the Stones in, into anything and bump it up attacking. <laughs> um, yeah, meant, so yeah, if you'd want to take out Mention of the Stones and Arbiter of the Peak, that's definitely possible. And there's there's no like perfect cards. If you're if you're taking out those, you have five five slots. There's no like perfect cards to play. You could play like an additional Solari Priestess. Um, you know, there's other things you can do. Like you can do Avalanche. Uh, you could go Sunburst to get some removal. If you want to try Sunburst, um, you know you can go with some Frostbite cards. There's there's nothing that's like perfect. Infinite like Grant Battle Fury is like a, a a cool a cool one to go along with like double Battle Fury with Tarek if you want with like your Overwhelm. If you want to high roll and just get blown out even harder by Hush. But they don't have hush. You have that. Um, Mind Splitter does a really good job against like Lee Sin of just stopping Lee Sin. Like the Lee Sin decks, Mind Splitter is really good against if you can survive until turn eight because um, it you know gets through Bastion and and those decks usually aren't playing any removal, so they can't even remove an infinite Mind Splitter. Yeah, or you can also go elusive units. Again, those you know buffing up elusive units also gets blown out by hush, but that's another option. But if you want to take out those two cards, I'd maybe say go something like that. Get another Solari Priestess in here, try a couple Sunbursts and a couple Infinite Mind Splitters. I think that's that's what I would recommend to replace those cards. All right, so there's Tarek Braum. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.